All right, it marks the end of an era for some, the end of their childhood. The beloved children's television show, Arthur, will have its final episode after 25 years on television. It's the longest running animated children's show ever. I didn't know that. And the final episode is airing this month. Now, if you're an Arthur fan, you know the show is based on the best-selling books by Mark Brown. And Mark Brown is joining us live to talk about this. Mark, I have to say, there are a lot of big boys and girls in our studio today who are fanboy and fangirling over you because, really, Arthur is one of our favorite stories on TV. And I have to ask you, I'm so honored to be able to do this, how did you come up with the idea of an aardvark? Uh, it happened during one of the worst periods of my life. I was teaching at a small college in Boston, and the college closed. And I didn't know what I was going to do for a job. And that night, my son asked for a bedtime story. And I'm so glad he did, because uh, I was searching the pantheon of children's literature for underserved animals. And aardvark popped up. And I told him a story about this little aardvark. And then it became my uh, career <laughs> for wow. the last 40 years. Give, it is in giving that you receive, for sure. This is. Really, I mean, what an amazing story. 45 years ago, you created Arthur, even mm -hmm. though it's only been on TV for 25 years. How has yeah. Arthur changed? And, and how have you kept Arthur relevant in the changing times? Well, that's a really good question. Uh, and kids ask me that question so often about where do these ideas come from? And I explain to them that there are ideas around us every single day. We just have to keep our ears open and our eyes open. And they're there for us to uh, think about and to play with. And so that's my job. I look for those stories that happen in real life. Are you excited for these uh, few remaining episodes? Is there anything that you can tell us without mm. su spoiling the surprise? I, I will tell you that the last episode is going to make a lot of people very happy because they're going to find out where these characters go with their lives and how they grow up and who they become. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, Arthur really isn't going anywhere. We've created over 600 stories about him over the years, and PBS is committed to play these shows for many years to come. So, that I, you know, and I think we deal with subjects that are relevant for kids. They're not going to become dated. Mm -hmm. So Arthur will be around for a while. <laughs> there, are, there are certain things that actually stay true no matter what age you're from, like telling your child a bedtime story. Speaking of stories, you have a new book coming out, Believe in yeah. Yourself. Can you tell us about that? Well, you know, I was looking for a way to celebrate this big anniversary of 45 years of the books and 25 years of the television program. And so this book uh, happened and it was so satisfying and uh, different than any book I've ever done before, because I found myself talking to kids who are now parents with kids who are discovering Arthur, but they grew up with Arthur. Uh, so, so that was unusual and different for me. And, you know, I think it's probably as close to a memoir as I'm ever going to get. And it allowed me to share a lot of my personal thoughts about writing books, uh, that I hope will be helpful to others, or what it's like to make a television program, and uh, actually what I learned from Arthur. Well, tell us, can you tell us one thing that you learned from Arthur? To be patient. And I loved your spot earlier about kindness and uh, the program that you're doing for people about kindness, because I agree with you 100% that if, if each of us just looked for one thing every day to do that was an act of kindness for someone else, uh, the world would be a lot better place. That's true. And it will be a better place for our children. Mark Brown, it has been such an honor to speak to you. And, and you really have changed lives. Mm -hmm. And I hope that you feel, whether you have the memoir written through Arthur's uh, eyes or not, that you know that you definitely changed the world. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.